Homestays are immersion in communities and getting to know a place in a way that you usually wouldn't be able to on your own. We'll take you around the market, we'll take you to play volleyball, they'll take you to the pool, to the farm, wherever. In homestays, we do not travel to many different places. We just stay in the same place for a week in a summer program or almost a month in a semester program. We just are in a city, in a town, in a village, living with the people and learning from the people and sharing with the family. The daily activities become meaningful, not only like the big ruins or the big civilizations or the big touristic things, but how they cook, how they do agriculture, how they go and work in the market. They provide us with a different type of knowledge that can influence our way of living as well. I was super nervous for homestays. I thought it was going to be my least favorite part of the trip because my Spanish isn't the best. Las fotos acá que tengo son recuerdos de los estudiantes que han estado aquí en casa. Hemos compartido momentos muy agradables. Fernando, one of the house brothers, introduced us with a tarongo and welcomed us with some music. Straight away, I felt right at home. I felt way more at ease. They were the nicest people ever. Somebody from the Dragons team will scout out families ahead of time, making sure that they understand what it means to be a homestay family. Then we actually go and do workshops with the people in the community. We have workshops about how to take care of the health of the students. We have workshops about mental health. We have workshops about how to interact with people that come from a different society. In all those countries that we do homestays in, there's been a homestay relationship for many, many years, often for decades with the same families. And these homestay families are chosen based on their willingness and excitement to engage with students and be mentors for the students as well. Every day in the house, over dinner, breakfast, lunch, whatever, we talked about something new. Uh, Bolivian politics, American politics, sports. One of the most special parts of homestays for me was the friendships that we formed with the local homestay siblings. We spent a lot of our free time all hanging out as a big friend group, going to play volleyball or just walking around town and getting food. I didn't expect to form such a solid friend group with the kids there. Saying goodbye to my family was one of the saddest moments of my life. My sisters were crying, I was crying, my, even my dad, who I did not expect to cry, was crying. We were all crying, seeing each other go. Uh, it was really crazy to see that in the span of like under a month, I got accepted as a brother, uh, as a son. It, it did feel like I was like leaving home again. Oh, y al día final, mira que es una cosa muy triste que nos miramos y lloramos y decimos ya te vas. Pero bueno, hay una alegría y siempre les digo yo, nosotros nos vamos a seguir comunicando.